Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and time once again for my cast, um, and yes, I am doing this one kind of early, reason being is, uh, I have, or here, let me, let me, let me, let me stop a second, um, let me, uh, intro the music here, this is gonna be Elminster, the Mystic Kingdom, yeah, it's more dungeon synth, um, just, I just, I just started digging through my, uh, my watch later list, and just started looking at some of the stuff that I haven't listened to, uh, mainly because I was just kind of a hurry to, in a bit of a hurry to get this cast taken care of, so I didn't want to be too picky. Um, but yeah, let me uh, go ahead and get this going. But uh, the reason I'm a bit of a hurry is um, I have I had just rented a uh, Scarface. Um, uh, for all of a for the longest time, I couldn't rent any videos on YouTube. Um, ever since I Ever since I switched over my credit card, like, it, or I had to renew it. I had to renew it, but, um, my, uh, Google Pay, or whatever it's called, it just, it wouldn't take. Despite the fact that I actually changed my payment info, it still wasn't registering on YouTube. But, all of a sudden, uh, just out of total curiosity, Scarface came up on my YouTube recommendations, buy or rent, decided to rent it, thinking, eh, probably won't go through, and... Whoa, hey, well, what do you know? Like, holy shit. Yeah, exactly. It just... Yeah, so payment went through and I'm about to rent it. And so, that's again, that's why I'm uh, doing this early. And I do have a fair amount to talk about. So, and there is going to be a fair amount of moving parts in here as well. So... So, don't be surprised if there's going to be mistakes being made. Um, but the first big thing. Um, I didn't take any, didn't take any naps at all. Uh, why? I, I had to buy a, I had to buy a bottle. I'm just getting sick and tired of all the naps I'm taking. Well, for those that don't know, hydroxycut is a, it's a, it's a type of drug. It's meant for weight loss. But it also gives you some pep as well. And these are, uh, I think it said on the package that these are caffeine free. So, I don't, I don't know what other, what other kind of ingredients they have in there. But yeah, they're, they're, they're basically no dose, no dose without the caffeine. But I've, I've taken these before from time to time, but I don't like taking them, uh, for one. They're, they're almost too good. Like, uh, chances are I might have a hard time sleeping. And I'm only, I'm only taking one pill. But I think... I think part of that, too, is just I haven't taken them in such a long time. That, um... My, uh, body's tolerance for them has worn off. If I, uh, just start popping them, uh, like, one or two a day, like I probably will here, um, I'll probably, uh, develop a tolerance for them, but... But like I said, I don't, I don't like taking these, um, I, for those that, I don't think I've ever said this in any of my other casts, but, uh, back in the 90s, uh, back in my 20s and 30s, I was addicted to mini thins. There were, uh, amphetamine tablets, but they were safer, they were the quote-unquote safer kind, they were, um, they were, oh, what was it, ephedra, or ephedrine, that's what they were, they were, um, basically speed but I went through a whole bottle a day um, that's about a hundred bottles or a hundred bottles. I mean a hundred tablets per bottle so a hundred a day um, mainly because I, at that time I was for all intents and purposes homeless I basically lived in my car um, and my car was like an 84 Ford Fairmont with bench seats not very comfortable to sleep in. And uh, so, from time to time, I'd have to check into a hotel room, but those are expensive, so... So, my only option was popping pills. So, I don't really want to go back to that again. And secondly, a Troxy cut is expensive as hell. It's like 20 bucks. I, don't, I can't remember how many, how many pills you get. But yeah, 20 bucks, and with me working part-time now, that's an expense I really can't afford. But again, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm trying to curtail the napping, you know. 
trying to make you know, I'm trying to make my nights you know, trying to make my nights off productive. Actually doing something other than dozing off. So but anyway, um enough of that. I I this this wasn't the reason why I made this you know, I don't want to spend this whole cast talking about that, so let me move along. Um just played a lot of gems of war. Um I created a I actually made a video about it. It's in my um I, it's in my uh, YouTube, uh, in my uh, YouTube channel, my uh, videos list. I can't remember the exact terminology for it, but anyway, um, I uh, I crafted, or I crafted a. It's called a mythic. It's like the highest, it's like the highest tiered, mo uh, highest tiered monster you can create. Or I'll, I'll just I'll just say card. It just sounds more accurate, but it's the highest tier card you can create. Um, I just made him um did some browsing around on google trying to find the uh, the best uh the best build the best build for that card i uh, just mo the optimal ones i did the optimal card sport i don't have so i had to really do some scrounging to find something that worked so eventually i found a build on google that i had the cards for so i just went with that uh, did some testing with that, but that's where I've been spending a good chunk of my night, um, as well as working on this cast, but just doing that, so a lot, lots of gems of war, so, but so far, I'm liking the build, it, it's got a bit of a ramp up, so it wasn't like, um, it wasn't like uh, some of the other builds I've tried out, you could pretty much hit the ground running with them. Here, it's like I said, there's like a slow build up, and then once you get going, it's going. So, uh, but but uh, now for the big thing those that have uh, those that have seen any of my other casts, um, I mentioned this, I mentioned this before that uh, they're gonna be getting rid of the uh, they're gonna be bulldozed in the uh, Salvation Army thrift store that's like right in front of where I live right in front of the apartment complex um as well as a and there was supposed to be a KFC that's probably about a quarter mile away from where I live they were going to be bulldozing that too and they're going to be replacing them with a big stormwater pond same with the KFC as well um they're going to be putting a stormwater pond in its place why the hell they're doing this I don't know I mean yeah climate change is very real and it's resulted in a lot more and a lot more rain and a lot more ice during the winter but we're by no means I mean we're by no means an Amazon rainforest or anything you know and we're not getting torrential downpours every hour or anything like that so I don't understand why they're doing that you know I mean you really want to make good use of the space put a homeless shelter there you know and we are and as of oh this is one of those albums there's gonna be like a long pause between between tracks um but anyway you know why not put something useful there like a homeless shelter you know i mean we're starting to you know and i'm and as a reason i'm starting to see homeless people walking around you know holding up signs saying please help out or you know that kind of thing or we'll work for food you know i'm seeing in front of the uh the walmart where i work You know, I mean, why not put a homeless shelter instead, instead of a fucking pond? I mean, I, personally, I don't think we, again, climate change and, you know, we're, it's raining more during the winter, but it's, we're not a damn tropical rainforest or anything. So I don't really see a need to clear cut a damn, clear cut a damn store that's been a big part of my life for 12 years, just to put a freaking, what's basically a, oh, an oversized drainage ditch. And yeah, there's and yeah, they're starting to do that now. Um, here, let me, but let me out. Uh, let me go. Let me go back on topic here. Um, but a few days ago, one of my coworkers told us that uh, that we're gonna have to start looking for a new place to live because they're gonna be a uh, bulldozer in our uh, they're gonna be a uh, bulldozer in our apartment. They're gonna be bulldozer in our entire block. Uh, but my coworker, one of my coworkers, he lives in the. Uh, he lives in an apartment complex that's next to mine. 
and that's what he was saying that they were gonna clear out that entire block for like stormwater ponds. I'm like, what? So I went back online. What a see what a I did this a few months ago, like when I made when I last did my cast about this. They were gonna they were just going to bulldoze the KFC and the thrift store. Um but our our all the houses and apartment complex were going to be untouched. But when he brought that up, that kind of put me in panic mode. And I'm like, oh, I better, I better check this out again. And, you know, and I didn't, uh, what I looked at was true as of about a month and a half ago, or I should say now, a couple months. I didn't see any brand spanking new information on it. But uh, both mine and his complexes, they're, they're not going to get messed with. But, I, but uh, on the other hand, though, what they are going to be doing is, uh, I'm already seeing it now, they're, they're chalking all these symbols all around uh, the, front of our, the front of my driveway in various parts of the street. Um, and there's these big old, these big flatbed trucks with all these big yellow tubes. So I've got this small feeling that they're already going to start bulldozing these places. And last I saw, oh, and uh, I'm also assuming that this is actually part of a project. They're gonna, the highway that runs by my, uh, run by, runs by the Walmart and the apartment complex. There's a, there's a highway there and they're, I think they're expanding on it. They're adding an extra lane. And those that know anything about any of the other casts that I've done about Strong Towns, it's a book that I'm reading, one of my favorites. Um, widening lanes is stupid. Like widening lanes to to halt the, to ease the traffic flow is typically a bad idea. Cause all it does is paradoxically it causes more traffic. Cause now more people are gonna find out that hey hey they're widening the roads. So now I can actually drive on the highway now and not have to take alternate routes. Yay! And now you got all these people uh taking the new highway now. And plugging it up even more. So, but any, so again, the highway expansion is a very bad idea. So, all of our, you know, all of our lives and the, you know, the community is going to be disrupted by all the noise and whatnot. And they're even talking about, uh, they're even talking about running some kind of cable literally just outside my apartment door. Like right by the sidewalk and stuff. They're running an underground cable through there. So that means I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna have to deal with the constant lack of sleep even during the mornings now. You know, when they start start digging holes and whatnot. So But yeah, changes are coming around my neighborhood and it's not good. And I think they're also up. I think they're, if I read it correctly, they're adding some uh, passenger bridges. You know, just basically, you know, um, like sidewalk bridges, you know, just for people to walk from one side of the street to the other. I think they're adding those. That would be a good improvement. But uh, otherwise, the rest of the stuff that I saw, we don't need it, or I know I sure don't. You know, it's just gonna be nothing but a big inconvenience for me. So. But uh, but yeah, after um, after um, after after all this stuff here, um, I remember, I also remember watching a guy named Do Not Eat. He did a whole he did a video series on uh, urban planning. In fact, uh, it was this video series that got me into playing City Skylines and. If not for the fact that that game is basically unplayable on my computer, especially when streaming it, I probably playing it. I probably playing it to this day, and not Gems of War. So, but yeah, he. There's a whole lot of horror stories in that video series. You know, we're almost on the receiving end of one of the worst. And in fact, now that I think about it, maybe uh, maybe this is probably the biggest reasons why, for the past few days, my uh, my uh, my sleep 
all my sleeps have been a uh, dream and nightmare filled. Having a lot of dreams and nightmares. It might all might have been centered around this, you know. Pretty much a traumatic event right here, you know. You all know, might be forced to or at or at that time, thought I was gonna be forced to, you know, le you know, uproot from a place that I've lived in for like twelve years. You know. Got some pretty deep roots here. So But otherwise, um, I'll just go ahead and kill it here. I think I've said all the things that I wanted to say this morning, and uh, I still want to, I still want to watch my, uh, I still want to watch Scarface too. So like, like I said, my um, my payment actually went through. So, so yeah, I want to give that a watch. So, but otherwise, otherwise, hey, thanks for, I mean, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. Always appreciated. And um, I should be able to make another one of these tomorrow morning, which will be my last one for the week. So, but until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.